So more money could be coming to Norman Public Schools after a more than $350 million bond was approved by the Norman Board of Education. It now heads for the ballot coming up on February 14th. So here with me now to learn more about how this money could be spent is Superintendent Dr. Nick Miliarino. Dr. Miliarino, welcome in. I'm glad to be here. Thanks. All right. Good to see you. So first, give me some historical context here. OK, so this bond just over 350 million. How does that compare to, you know, amounts of, of bonds in the past here approved? Yeah, absolutely. You know, since uh, well, I guess in the last 50 years, Norman has passed over 600 million dollars worth of bonds. But this is almost twice as large as our next largest, which was last our last bond in 2019, which was around 186 million dollars. So it's a, a significant amount of money and it's a, a significant bond that, that's going to do great things here in, in the Norman Public School District. And with that large amount of money, there are a lot of kind of big ticket items up for grabs here if passed. So why don't you break down some of those for us? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there are quite a few large big ticket items. And just importantly, there are a lot of small items too. But some of the big ones, you know, obviously we have the Oklahoma Aviation Academy uh, that we have opened up this last year and um, have the opportunity to build an incredible facility with that. Fine arts um, is huge in Norman and uh, we, we need to serve those students and families well. So, you know, a new fine arts uh, facility along with, you know, um, a new FF, we have a, a huge FFA program in Norman Public Schools and, and really the ability to enhance the facilities on our school farm, along with a, a competition stadium at Norman North High School. And then you also mentioned, of course, there's smaller little things included in that. What would some of the smaller items be? Yeah. Small, but uh, incredibly important. Obviously, the state gives us some money for textbooks and instructional materials, but not near enough. And, uh, you know, bonds are the way majority of school districts, including Norman, buy textbooks, buy library books. And so it's it's really important for those instructional materials that, that we have the ability uh, to have bonds. And, and we're so blessed here in, in Norman that the, you know, the district, the, the community supports uh, public schools and Norman public schools in a great way historically. And, uh, you know, that that's one of the, the largest small ticket items but you know when you say small ticket you know it's over a million dollars a year just for textbooks yeah we put small in quotes there small but mighty right um okay yes, so let's talk about how this would affect taxpayers because they're the ones going to be going in on the 14th so talk to me about how this would raise taxes if at all yeah absolutely no tax increase at all um and so really excited about that uh, the last bond in 2019 we went to the voters and asked for a, a small increase in millage rate but um with that we've been able to maintain over deliver and now we, with the growth of the community we're able to come back out with an even larger bond obviously without any kind of uh, tax increase and when um, voters go to the ballot box on the 14th, this is split up to my knowledge as two kind of different propositions, right? Can you explain how they're gonna see it on their ballot? Absolutely, and by the way, the 14th is Valentine's Day too, if, if that helps people remember. But uh, yeah, there's a proposition one and a proposition two. By law, student transportation has to be separated out from the general bond. And so that would be proposition two, all student transportation. So you're talking about yellow buses, activity buses, those kind of things. And then everything else, all the capital needs would be in the proposition one. What do improvements, big or small, kind of the ones we ran down today, what do things like this really do for a district and, and in turn really do for our students? Oh, absolutely. You know, we want the best for our students each and every day. Our bond is something that's going to touch every site in the Norman Public School District and impact every student. But also, you know, with teachers, uh, teachers and coaches and directors need to have the best resources. And so when you talk about expectations, yeah, we have expectations for our students. Our families have expectations for our students. Um, our teachers also have expectations. And to be competitive in, in that environment, we have to provide the best. Then you also talk about the community. You know, public schools, Norman Public Schools is, is a huge partner uh, with the, the city of Norman. And we must continue to do our job to maintain a high level of excellence in everything, whether it's the academics we provide or the facilities in which um, we have. Okay, a big vote up for grabs here February 14th. As you said, it's Valentine's Day. Absolutely. Good way to remember that there in Norman. Dr. Reno, thank you so much for coming on today. We really appreciate your time.
Absolutely. You guys take care. Okay. You as well.